Woo. What's up guys? Welcome to the vlog. Here, beautiful hideaway. I feel like I'm a better swimmer than the actual ocean. You know what we should do today, actually? We might scratch today's vlog and do a triathlon. You cool with that, Al? I'm down for that. I think we should do it. I was just swimming and I was thinking about that. So we were gonna just do a, a fun vlog, a workout vlog. I'm swimming and I think I should do my triathlon. That's probably a stupid idea. Who comes on vacation and wants to do something like that? But in the water, I feel like I'm a little bit better of a swimmer in salt water. It's more buoyant. This might be a bad idea because I haven't really been training, but let's do it. I said I was gonna do it a while ago, and I didn't because of COVID, so why not do it here? Sprint triathlon, I think it was a 750 meter swim. Al did a triathlon a couple, uh, couple months ago, but it, I think it was, my sprint triathlon was 750 meter swim, a 20K bike ride, and then a 5K run. Babe, you wanna do a sprint triathlon today? <laughs> you okay with me doing a sprint triathlon today? You do you, babe. I'm just gonna... You, I might be gone for like two hours, I think. It's gonna take me a minute. Fine, I'll be reading. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? We'll swim. There's a nice sandy spot to swim. I gotta go see how much I weigh. I've been eating a lot too. So let's see how much I weigh and then I'll decide. If I'm over 100 kg, I'm not doing it. That's a 222 pound man. Ain't nobody at 222 pounds who hasn't been trained and should do it. If I'm under 100 kg, we'll do it. All right, dripping wet. Dripping wet. Ha 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 ha! 99.2. That's still, I'm 220 pounds right now. That's a big dude for a triathlon. All right, let's do it. Babe, watch out, cannonball! I get you? No. All right, let's go figure out the distance on things. All we have here is dirt roads. There's no pavement anywhere. There's no cars anywhere on this island. So we've been given fat tire bikes. Alec actually mentioned that I could do this a couple days ago. And I was like, no man, I'm on vacation. But what the hell, why not? We'll see how many calories we can burn on the whoop. You guys, if you want, join my whoop team. If you have a whoop, if you don't have a whoop, you can also click the link in the description and get a whoop. Use my code Steve Cook and save. 15% and then you can join culture. But I have a bicep band that I brought with me. So I'm gonna wear the bicep band today when I swim so it doesn't move around. And we're gonna see uh, how many calories it is. But first, let's go figure out the logistics of it. Oh, Aquaman, Bicycle Man, and Running Man. All of those actually are things except for Bicycle Man. All right guys, Gymshark sent me these about a month and a half, half ago. And they're nearly perfect, except for if I want to wear them high, they cut into my legs pretty good. So we're going to have to, unfortunately, the quads won't be getting a tan. We're going to have to cover those up. But I feel so aerodynamic in these. Also, babe, will you come help me fit my bicep band on my arm? I haven't used this yet. It's the Whoop bicep band that hopefully will allow for swimming. Are we good to go? Yeah, oh. is that good enough? Oh yeah, Stimino Slim Jim. Randy Macho Man Savage. What? Let's go. I think that should go like out well, I think it needs to get my pulse, so it probably okay. needs to go on the inside. To the brachial lottery. Yeah, there you go. Good job, baby. Look at the big brain on this one. Next up, goggles for when I'm swimming. Got these bad boys in Dubai because I knew we would be coming to the Maldives. I'm like, I want a snorkel. So, I got my glasses, they're the Navy SEAL version. <laughs> I'm gonna be swimming like a Navy SEAL. I suck at swimming, guys. This is actually a bad idea. I don't know if I wanna do this. I just remembered how bad I am at swimming. So, I'll be swimming in these, and then for the run, I'm not gonna wear any socks. I'll be running in these. And these, I have really fat feet, but they're good running shoes, but they're just so narrow. So, if you have fat feet, I wouldn't recommend these. Honestly, they're not great if you have fat feet, but they're solid if you have skinny feet. So um, let's go look at the bike, which is the saddest part. It's not like, let's just go see it. So my triathlon bike today at home, I got a really sweet, sweet specialized bike here. I'm running with a fat tire beach cruiser, which actually comes in handy because it's all sand where we're going. Oh, but this thing is about, I would say 10 times heavier than a normal triathlon bike, and it's about 10 times slower. So my times today are probably gonna reflect that. It's about doing the damn thing, because I said I was gonna do it. It's about doing it, not necessarily the time. If I get under two hours, 
I'll be ecstatic, which we'll see if I do. I might not even finish, if I'm being honest. Let's go mark out the territory. We're on a small island here, basically that has a dirt road, a beach road that goes around everything. And then the road offshoots into villas everywhere, unless you're on the water like we are. So we have a big enough track. We just need to figure out how far it is for the run and the bike. Let's go talk to somebody who knows. What's the best way? If we want to ride a bike around it, what's the best way to go? You can just go with this one. There is a road. Like a road this, all the way? Uh, okay. And you can go water villas. There is okay. only one road. Actually, like here is only one road. Okay. Oh, there's the okay. Old villas, yes. Okay. I noticed there's and a lot of twists is... and turns on it too. Yeah. That... Now, where's the best place to do a ocean swim? Ocean swim without a reef. This is the water sport part. There's yeah. no reef. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Do you guys know, does anyone know how far it is? How many kilometers it is around? If we if we went from here around, how far? Okay, so let me uh, okay. check with our team no and worries. I'll get back to you. Okay, yeah. thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you. All right, we just got word from the engineer exactly how far things are. So it is basically right under four kilometers if we do a entire lap around the island, not including the huts. So let's say we're gonna have to swim in the recreation area. That means we're gonna get out and we're gonna have to run past the sports complex down, well, this is bike and run. So we're gonna have to go past the sports complex on the dirt path. And it's really twisty and windy. It's got branches hanging over everywhere. Definitely not made for biking, a little bit better for running, but it's still soft. It's sand you're running on. So past the sports complex, next to all these villas, and then all the way down to the Sunset Pool Cafe, where on the bike we'll be making a right and then coming down towards the rest of these villas all the way to Mathafrua. It looks like a restaurant that we haven't been to here. And then we have the Muru Bar and Grill we're gonna be running past. I might have to stop and get a Diet Coke when I run past that. And then we're gonna be running past the kids pool, the adult pool, um, Owl's Villa, past the spa, all the way back to the water sports area and then for the run we're basically going to be doing that same thing it'll be 5k's so the run's 5k so i'll be running all the way that same path but then running out onto the water villas turning around and running back and doing that same loop so instead of four kilometers it's five kilometers they said it was like 3.9 but we're rounding it up to four so i'm gonna have to do five laps on the bike and again that's not including the water villas I'm gonna have to just do one lap running, which will include the water villas. I got my work cut out for me. The only thing I don't know how far yet is the swim. So we need to head over to the water sports area. The swim is definitely the thing I'm most nervous about. I don't really wanna be in like water that's 15 feet deep for two reasons. If I need to stop, that's gonna suck. And then two, I feel like I'm just also scared of sharks. So I wanna be shallower the better. So. We're gonna go check out the water sports complex right now. Well, uh, this is gonna be interesting. Bikes, you can tell they're one size fits all. Chain's a little bit rusty. It clicks a bunch and these tires are insanely fat. So I'm a little bit worried about the bike more than anything now because it just sucks. It sucks doing five whole laps around that, 20 kilometers. It's gonna suck big time. It's the thing you guys don't realize. It's, it's probably about 85 degrees out, which doesn't sound bad, but the humidity is crazy. But how often do you get a chance to swim in this? That's nice, I like that. Got me a little bit more excited. Just gotta figure out how far things are now. We got the buoys lined up. All right, let's go talk to somebody. Awesome? Okay. All right, we're talking to Awesome, and it says bro. Yeah. Awesome bro. <laughs> yeah. Is that like awesome? Uh, yeah, it's awesome, but they call me bro. Okay, bro, <laughs> I like that, bro. So he was telling us, you said it's about 350 meters? Yeah. From, from buoy? Boy to buoy, yeah. Okay. So we got to go down almost to the restaurant. Um, I'm going to need to do that two, two times and a little bit more for 750 meters. So I'll probably go like two and a quarter. So down, back, and a quarter. Do you guys have waters? We forgot water yeah. too. You have waters for yeah. us? You're the man, bro! <laughs> Let's go! We got bro behind us. We got our swim figured out. Yes. No more procrastinating. I'm just got to stretch out a little bit, jump in and swim 750 meters. This will be home base, so I'll go from the swim to the bike, right around, right around this 
five times? Yeah, right around five times, and then run around once, including the huts on the water. So, two hours is the goal. We're gonna see if I get it under two hours. Thank you. Further away than 350 meters all the way down to that restaurant. But we got 350 down, 350 back, and then basically another 50 meters. So not very far, but I ran track and that doesn't look like 350. That looks further to me, but hey, if I could just get through the swim, I can grind away on the bike and the run. The swim is what I'm worried about. Well, this is exactly where I saw a stingray yesterday, so I'm not really looking forward to that. All right, three, two, one, let's go. I was gonna run to the bike. Oh, that was way harder than I thought. I thought swimming in the ocean would be a little bit more fun. So much salt water. I need a drink. Please get some sweet water. And then on the bike. You can keep my clock rolling. I don't give a shit. I need some water. Thank you. It's hot. The water is hot. I'm about to wreck my Nikes. Is that a shower? Yeah. We didn't really plan for the transition. This is the transition. Oh, oh I hated every minute of that. I thought it was going good. And then that current on the way back, that current on the way back is so strong. Oh, come on. Oh, let's that. jump on that bike, huh? Oh, that swim took more out of me than I thought. Oh, this bike's gonna suck. Ah, that seat's hot. Oh. All right. I'd much rather be back in the water. Next lap, do you want a Diet Coke or another water? I was kidding about the Diet Coke, unless you can actually do it. Keep going, two more to go. Could I get a Diet Coke? Sorry? A Diet Coke? Diet Coke? Yeah, do you guys have Diet Coke here? Uh, Diet Coke, yes, we have some. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.
How you feeling? I feel sunburned, dehydrated, and my back wants to break. Forgot when I was training, riding a bike just <laughs> my taint in my back. <laughs> Those are the two areas. It's hot. We could have included sugar in this one. I'm like shaking. I think it's because I need some carbs. Oh, you have water too. I thought this would taste good. Water. Oh, nope. Not carbonated. Let's stick with water. Hashtag not an ad. Oh, my, my freaking legs. I didn't realize how blown up they were until I tried to pedal again. Oh, this run's gonna suck dick. Sorry for all the swearing. I see you on the last leg. Let's go. Sometimes I feel like I can make you whole. I just can't change my emotions. There isn't anything I wouldn't do to prove that everything you say is true. And if you let me, I can That's love wrong. you. go that fast it's just so hot I feel like I can't breathe there are those oh my legs too I'm not in shape I can get bro bro needs to give me some water oh. Oh. oh that feels good it needs to be colder the swim was bad because I swallowed a bunch of water and I just panicked a couple times I was gonna get eaten the bike was harder than I thought it just felt like my legs were freaking dead weight and then getting off the bike the first like hundred yards I was like uh, -uh this isn't happening after that I felt like the run ended up being the easiest but the hottest it was just hot the bike at least had a little bit of a breeze but the run was just we picked a stupid time of the day to do it too all right good news and bad news I'm gonna be able to eat a little bit more today. Bad news, I gotta, I'm shaking a little bit. Um, I got to get a massage, that's good news. But it's in like 10 minutes, I think. What time is it, do you know? So Morgan's probably been wondering where I'm at. I don't know what my time was, it was definitely over two hours. Two hours and just hanging out two hours in this heat sucks. All right, let's go back. 
I see Morgan. Problem is I gotta ride the bike back now. My legs are just so tight. I don't know if I ever want to ever do one of those again. I've done a half marathon. I'm counting that as a sprint triathlon, even though the distances weren't precise. But I'm glad I didn't die on the swim. Let's go say what's up to Morgan. I'm not calling myself a triathlete for this. You guys can if you want to. I guess you can call me that, but I, I guess I won't. Had to hurry, shower. Still sweating a little bit after getting out of the shower just because it's hot. But at least we're here in the spa now. Babe, what are you gonna get work done on today? My back. Your back? Always my back. She's so jerked. You do have a jack bag. <laughs> uh, I told them full body, deep tissue, concentrating on my lower back and legs. Shoulder. My shoulder has been jacked up after that. But after that run and swim, my legs are just hammered. So Your shoulder needs it. My shoulder does need it. Everywhere needs it right now. But we got some little water to hydrate on. I'm just going to tell the lady to go ham. I love it when they walk on my back. Just 100 kg. 100 kg today almost. What was I, 99.2? 99, yeah. It's a big lad. Big lad doing big lad things. Not meant for swimming, running, and biking. It smells so nice. I'm all about massages, and hey, I don't really like being naked in a massage, but can't I wear my own underwear? This is what they gave me to wear. What? How am I supposed to wear that? I'm naked right now looking at this, wondering how is that even supposed to fit my arm let alone my legs. This massage is gonna feel so good. So this is where I'm gonna leave you guys. It's been a good day, I'm going to. Guys, I think we did it. I think we achieved, I think we achieved the highest whoop score of all time. It was a lot of sweat, some blood, snorkeling, sprint triathlon, tennis, sexy time twice, maybe three times. I'm just kidding, I'm just, her face. Honestly. <laughs> Um, but a lot of perspiration, a lot of inspiration, and a little bit of motivation tonight. Morgan wanted to come play tennis. This has been just a very active day. I'm going to uh, screen record my whoop and show you guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Got my ass kicked big time. Luckily, we had that massage because I felt like that rejuvenated me a little bit. And then just having a girlfriend that uh, refuses to let you do anything but succeed. True. And I Alec Baker. Halfway and I'm like, well, if you win, you that snorkel <laughs> session actually was a brutal one too. My foot was hurting from the triathlon. My legs were heavy, but we did it. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, that is all. Love you guys. Goodbye.